What's going on, everybody? Welcome to CTIA Wireless Las Vegas, day number two, I think. It's day two. Uh, we're here on the show floor at the HTC booth with a very special guest to uh, take us through the Touch Duel. This is Eric Lin, who some of you might know from some of his other work in the industry. He's now with HTC. Eric, what's going on? How you doing, guys? <laughs> I, uh, we're here talking about a couple of the new things that we're bringing to the U.S. So, um, if you know phone at all you've seen the touch before and what we're doing is we are bringing the touch dual to the US they look pretty similar however if we put them side by side you'll see the touch dual is a little larger at first you may think oh what's up with that things are supposed to get smaller but then you'll see we have a sliding keypad beneath this one so the touch dual builds on all of the things that you're used to with the touch. It still has it builds on the touch touches interface, so we still have the touch cube that we can spin around here just like on the regular touch. But we have a couple of new features in addition to the keyboard. First off, something that's available on all touch tools is when you slide it open, you get this new task menu. Oh, nice. So we figured that if you're going for the keyboard, you're going for the keyboard because you want to do something, send right. an email, send a text, something like that. So we give you shortcuts to all of those tasks. In addition, the touch tool comes with Windows Mobile 6.1, the latest version nice. of Windows Mobile out of the box. Um, what that means to people who actually have the phone and are using it day to day, well, the biggest difference is that now there's threaded text messaging built into the device. And in addition, there's also a new browser, an improved version of Pocket Internet Explorer, which gives you a zoom out mode that lets you see an entire web page and then zoom in on a specific area instead of having to scroll. It works a lot like we've seen with the, the mini map on Opera Mobile right, or right. Uh, the S60 browser, right, that right. sort of thing. Excellent. So that's really nice. And this is just to, for, for the folks checking this out and maybe not as familiar um, and maybe don't know the HTC name, the, the Sprint Touch, uh, that we covered on PhoneDog a little while ago is an HTC built device and so that's when we're referencing the original touch that's what we're talking about right and the so. keypad actually reminds me of the uh, T-Mobile Shadow right right it's the same 20 key keypad as you'll see on the Shadow just with a little more curve to it um, we like that because we know that there's some people who want the full QWERTY one key per letter keypad, but just like on other devices that you see this keypad on, it allows us to make a slimmer device. Absolutely. I, I really liked it when I, I got to review the Shadow recently, and I, I think it's a great, uh, I don't want to say compromise, but it's not, it's a great in-between solution. Yeah. It, I don't know about you, but did you find that after a couple of days of using it that you picked it up pretty quickly? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah I was surprised. I was kind of skeptical at first. Right. Uh, about whether I would be able to type on it as fast as I can type on a regular QWERTY. Right. But I found that after using it, uh, maybe like three, four days, that I could do that. Right. I don't know what your experience yeah. was. I, I, I had a very similar thing, and, and this is personal preference probably, but I preferred it, much preferred it to things like the sure type system. Um, it just, I think I have big, awkward, un -dex dexterous dexterity. I have no thumb dexterity, <laughs> so I like the bigger keys. I also, uh, we use T9 text prediction mm -hmm. instead of sure type, um, so it works a little bit differently, and I think a lot of people who are used to 12 keying are more used to the T9 prediction right, and how right, that right. works. Absolutely. So it's nice to be able to have that familiar. Right. Yeah, no, you guys, you guys, with all this stuff that, you know, people may, again, may not know HTC name, but they've used, you know, your products on Verizon, on AT&T, right, the team, right. all that stuff, and you guys are always, you know, innovating, but definitely with a finger on what people are using, which is great. Yeah, so um, that actually brings up a point, which is... The Touch Dual will be one of the first devices that we sell in the U.S. without a carrier. This is going to be coming unlocked to Best Buy stores. Oh, it's wow. not going to be sold through a carrier. So that's going straight to mom and pop. It is. That's excellent. Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're kind of excited. Um, this year we've been seeing more 
uh, handsets come into the U.S. with our brand on them. Right. And this is just an extension of that, getting out a, a handset, not only with our brand on it, but unlocked to anybody who wants to use it. Any idea when people can go into Best Buy? This quarter, but I don't know the exact date. Okay, and any idea on price yet? No, so far, there no price has been determined on it. Um, should know that it's quad band GSM, so it's unlocked and you'll be able to use it on any carrier as a 2G device. However, it also has dual band HSDPA. Right. So for users on AT&T, this is a 3G device. Excellent. All right, so this new HTC Touch Dual coming soon to a Best Buy near you. How about that? Thanks, Eric. Thank you.